At HP, we believe that every single digital interaction needs to be protected. We do that around the world across 10 global security operation centers and 5,000 security professionals. But what it gives us is an amazing insight into what the adversaries are doing. Who's attacking whom? How are people defending against it? And what concerns they have? Welcome to this morning's panel. Um, so it's, all, it's become kind of an all too familiar news item, um, breaches in security. Just in the past year, we've had JP Morgan target Home Depot, um, Sony most famously, enormous breaches. There's something like £27 billion cost to the economy. Um, we're in deep trouble, are we? I'll actually start with a, an article I cut out of a well-known free magazine this morning. It's from the, uh, the Office of National Statistics. Um, one of the really surprising figures in here is it says uh, cybercrime or fraud is committed every four seconds in the UK. Every four seconds. Every four seconds. I'm, I'm saying rather than trying to look at everything, right. is look at the information that's critical to us to understand what the bad guy's actually doing. Right. You know, they only need to be right once. We need to be right every time if we're going to protect sure. them. Sure, that's asymmetric. At companies that haven't, they've got along for so long without having valid like, security processes and now suddenly the hackers have turned their eye to them and they're like, oh, <laughs> this is a problem. Um, we saw with like Microsoft and all these other big companies that it takes a while to kind of improve things. You know, it, it takes a while of being hacked to realize, you know, we have to change things. I think one of the things that's, that's changed over the time I've been in information security is a, a change from stance of let's lock it down and believe that we can lock it down and leave it to run itself to having to watch what's actually going on and be active in response. The easiest day's work I've ever done <laughs> was looking at an application, a web application. You see a, a search box in the top right of the window and you type in an SQL injection and within five minutes you've got the operating system. Right. Uh, you know, that's fragile and that's application. Sure. And people not knowing how to do them right. What we I challenge our team to do and I real challenge like organisations to do is to think about three time horizons, not just so a five minute horizon, a five quarter horizon, a five year horizon. Because yes, if you have a major breach in the next five minutes, you're going to need to know who, what you're going to do, who's going to do it, who's going to help you, who you have to disclose it to. That five minute horizon actually is really important for unlocking you know, newsrooms, boardrooms, classrooms, doesn't matter, it's a massive one. But actually the five quarter horizon is also important. That's what can I invest in in this budget cycle that's going to allow me to improve my maturity incrementally? Think about current changes in technology, current changes in business. And then the five year horizon really is if I want to be ready through my business plan, technology is going to be in a couple of years in advance of a three year strategic business plan. So actually, the five year point is the point I need to focus on and then work back from that with you know, my organisation and my partners. And that's what we do. We think about where technology will be in five years, work back from that, develop a product, takes two years, get it to market, and you're about there at the mm. point of need. And that's, so five minutes, five quarters and five years, I think sharpens the mind to think, okay, what do I do now? What do I do this year? And what do I do at the point I need it in my business plan? 